بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آور ٹو ڈے سیشن از آن دا یوز آف آرٹیکلس ویل بفور آئی پروسیڈ ود دا کرنٹ سیشن آئی وڈ لائک ٹو شیئر اے ریویو آف دا پریویس سیشن ایز فار ایز آر پریویس سیشن واز کنسرنڈ اٹ واز بیسیکلی اباؤٹ سینٹینس کنیکٹرس ان دیٹ سیشن آئی شیئرڈ ود یو واٹ آر سینٹینس کنیکٹرس اینڈ واٹ از دیئر رول ان دا کنسٹرکشن آف پیراگرافس اینڈ بگر پیسز آف رائٹنگ دین آئی شیئرڈ ود یو ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف سینٹینس کنیکٹرس مین ٹائپس دیٹ آئی ڈسکسڈ انکلوڈیڈ کنیکٹرس شوئنگ کمپیریزن کنیکٹرس شوئنگ ایڈیشن کنیکٹرس دیٹ شو کاز اینڈ افیکٹ connectors that are used to show condition. I also discussed connectors showing contrast and connectors that show opposition. After that I shared a list of some other types of sentence connectors that are frequently used in English which included connectors that are used with reference to time or to indicate time, connectors that are used to exemplify, connectors that are um, used to um, have some um, additional information and I gave you some activities and exercises on the use of these connectors. I hope you would have uh, done some activities and you would have revised those um, Mm, lists of connectors so that you could write more uh, comfortably and more fluently. Well, as I said at the outset of our sessions that we started on uh, written communication or on the development of writing skills, that writing is a very, very complicated and complex process. It involves a lot of things and it has um, many areas to be covered. So we would have various sessions on the development of writing skills which would include different aspects or different areas that are important for you to learn how to do your academic writing efficiently. In this connection, our today's session is on uh, the use of articles. Articles make a very important yet um, a part that is most of the times neglected by students. In uh, today's session, I would talk about what are articles, why articles, which means why it is important to learn the use of articles or why they are used in uh, English language to create different meanings or to convey different messages. Then I would introduce different types of articles. Basically, I would talk about a, an, and the. And I would share rules of using these articles. Of course, when I would share the rules of using these articles, I would give you examples of their use as well to add to your clarity. Towards the end of the session, we would have some activities and exercises. The activities and exercises are selected on the basis that they would add to your clarity and they would give you some practice in the use of articles. To start with today's session, I would define what an article is. Well, articles are special modifiers that appear before nouns or noun phrases. If you remember, in one of the previous sessions, I talked about adjectives and I said adjectives are modifiers or um, they are classifiers. They classify or they modify the meaning of a noun. So articles are one special type of these modifiers that are used before a noun or a noun phrase to modify it. Like other adjectives, they help clarify the meaning of the noun in your sentence. Basically, an article is an adjective. And the function of uh, um, articles, like any other adjectives, is to modify nouns. Dear students, articles are used to differentiate between things or ideas usually expressed by nouns. The speaker or the writer may be referring to a specific thing or idea 
or to a general one and it is with the help of articles that this differentiation is made whether it is a general or a specific thing or idea. Okay, so here I am going to introduce you to different types of articles. Mainly English has two types of articles, definite and indefinite. Definite article is the and indefinite article is a and an. Now the use of definite and indefinite articles depends mainly on whether you are referring to any number of a group or to a specific member of a group. So again it is the case of generalization or specification that determines which article is to be used. However the case is not that simple and there are many exceptions in this as well so we need to go through the rules of the use of these articles. At this point I would say in general the is used to refer to specific or particular nouns. On the other hand a or an is used to modify non-specific or non-particular nouns that is general nouns. We call the the definite article and a or an the indefinite articles. So their names themselves are clues to their use as well. So we would start with the rules of the use of article the. We use the to refer to nouns that have already been mentioned or when it is obvious what particular thing is being referred to. I repeat, we use article the to refer to nouns that have already been mentioned. So something that has already been mentioned as general and now again it is specified, it is mentioned again. In that case, article the is used or the other use is that when it is obvious what particular thing is being referred to. So, so far we have learned two rules. Rule number one, when something has already been referred to and it is referred to again as specific, then article the is used for it. Number two, when something is referred to and it is obvious that it is something specific that is referred to, we use article the. Let us look at the example. We are sorry to receive your letter of October 30 informing us of an error in carriage changes. The error was due to an incorrect entry in our records which has now been rectified. The letter hasn't arrived yet. Now please notice the use of the twice. Number one, initially you see we are sorry to receive your letter of October 30 informing us of an error in carriage changes. The error. Now this an error something, the error that is already referred to when second time it is referred to when it has already been mentioned and again it is mentioned the is used with that. So an error becomes the error. So the error was due to an incorrect entry in our records which has now been rectified. Now this an incorrect entry, if you write it again in the sentence, the incorrect entry has uh, uh, not only been modified but also has been added to the list. So this time now this the incorrect entry because you are referring to it for the second time. In the same way, the letter that is referred to in the first sentence as your letter, when it is referred to again and you are sure and specific about a particular letter, what happens? The letter is used. The letter hasn't arrived yet. It takes 45 minutes to go to the airport from our office. Look at this example. To go to the airport, airport is not mentioned before this, so this is about the second rule. When you are using it for the first time but you are sure, it is obvious that it refers to something particular. It is referring to a particular airport. So it is the airport in this case. Here are some more examples of the usage of article the. 
The main use of the definite article the is for definite reference. It can be used before singular and plural countable nouns and with uncountable nouns. I repeat, definite article the as it is used for definite reference, it can be used for singular plus it can be used for plural countable nouns. It can also be used for uncountable nouns. Look at the examples. There is an apple and an orange, an orange in the bowl. So the bowl is some specific bowl, so the is used. Countable ke liye use kiya hai, or singular ke liye use kiya hai. Now you are talking about the same apple, the apple, the specific apple is overripe but the orange seems fresh. The orange, an orange has turned into the orange because you are referring to it again, it becomes specific. The definite article is used before singular and plural nouns when the noun is particular or specific, the signals that the noun is definite that it refers to a particular member of a group. Compare the definite and indefinite articles in the following examples. If you look at the table that is provided, you can see the use of the indefinite articles a and an that are used for general and the definite article the. In case of singular, the indefinite article a or an would be used in this way. A dog, a dog would mean any dog. The dog, definite article the, it would mean <coughs> the specific dog. An apple, it means any apple, whereas the apple means that specific apple. When it comes to plurals, look at this. Some dogs, any dogs, but the dogs, those specific dogs. In the same way, some apples, any apples. But the apples, those specific apples. My dear students, there are many other rules that are related to the use of article the. Let me share a few examples, but before that I would like to share something about the pronunciation of the article the. Well, sometimes you would have listened to the pronunciation the and sometimes you would have listened to it as the. Now how it is to be used? The and the. So that is the end of the news. This is an example. The end of the news. The is used generally with all the words that start with consonants whereas the is used as a pronunciation when it comes before a word that starts with a vowel sound. So the police, the army, the fire brigade, the civil service and the and the inland revenue. These are all the words that are used for organizations or the names of organizations and all of them take the before them. The rule is we use the to refer to organizations for example the police or for example the police or the army. In the same way, when it comes to countries and nationalities, the is used to refer to people belonging to that nation. The Dutch, the Irish, the Portuguese, the Bulgarians, the Russians, the Poles and the Ukrainians. So you would have noticed when the nationality is mentioned, the is used before the name of the country that indicates the nationality of the person or persons. So Ireland but the Irish, Russia but the Russians, Pakistan but the Pakistanis. So when the names of countries are used we do not take the article the. But when the names of nationalities are used, when nationalities are referred to, 
the takes um, the is placed before the nationality with this i go on to the next slide another rule the is not used before most of the countries in general it is not used for countries cities and places so the same rule goes the is not used for countries cities and places italy laos china sweden copenhagen lima edinburgh all these names of countries cities and places would not take the before them but we use the to refer to categories of things so for example if we are talking a specific kind of currency if we are talking about currency and then we are referring to a specific category or type of currency how it would be used the pound is a strong currency the would be used in this case with pound to show that it refers to a category of currency in the same way the fax machine is useful office equipment you're talking in general about office equipment and you refer to a specific category of machines or equipment that is the fax machine very often an adjective is used with the to make a category or social group the poor the rich the unemployed the well known so when a category or a social group is referred to an adjective is used with the so rich when it is used um, to refer to the class the social class of rich the group of rich people the rich the rich in this country do not want the poor to earn their bread for example note these expressions are plural however a singular noun also can define category of people so the rich or the poor for example each of these means all the people who are rich and all the people who are poor so they are basically used as plurals but this same expression can be used for um, defining a category of people when uh, a singular noun is used for example the sole trader the venture capitalist etc another rule with relation to the use of the as an article is that in noun groups with the word of the is compulsory for example instead of bank of england the bank of england instead of board of directors the board of directors the president of kpn the level of productivity to jahan par bhi a group of words um, or a noun phrase is used that has of in it it takes the before it we use the in superlative expressions where noun is by definition unique for example exa is the biggest european insurance company so to refer to superlative biggest when you are referring to it some unique characteristic you would use the before it exa is the biggest european insurance company acha aapko lag raha hoga ki main ek lambi lambi list sa aapko bata rahi hu kahan the use hona hai aur kahan nahi use hona hai but the reality of our situation is if you compare the use of article the with your own uh, experience of using articles in your native languages or in uh, urdu as your first language you would immediately realize ki aapke paas the ke liye koi word hai hi nahi in urdu to for example agar main ye kehti hu there is a girl the girl is standing on a road notice the use of the there is a girl the girl, the girl is standing on a road the road is very bumpy she the girl is waiting for a car the car comes and the girl sits in the car now if i ask you to translate all this for yourself in urdu what would happen the translation would be something like this there is a girl ek ladki hai the girl is standing on a road ek ladki ya ladki now the ladki 
the girl you do not have a word for the so aap wahan kuch bhi nahi lagate you leave it open and actually ladki in this case would mean a specific ladki who has already been referred to the girl is standing on a road wo khas ladki ek sadak par khadi hai the road is bumpy wo khas sadak nahamwar hai now you see every time you have the you do not have an equivalent in urdu for that this lack of the presence of article the in urdu actually creates first language interference for the learners of english and when it comes to the use of article the in english they face a lot of problems and i hope you would agree ki isi ke aap mein se bahut sare log jo hain wo jab bolte hain ya jab likhte hain to they construct these kind of constructions for example the words what says naam se pehle laga diya jahan par nahi lagna tha um instead of words with says the words with aap kar dete hain uh isi tarah se um, sometimes when you have to use an article um hum jo urdu mein kehte hain shayar kehta hai when you do tashree when you do explanation to english mein bhi aap likhte hain poet says halanki it has to be the poet says because you are referring to a particular poet so all these common errors are generated because of the interference of our first language so we need to consciously learn the rules of the use of article the when it comes to learning correct english in our case anyhow i would move on to some more rules related to the use of the here i would say the isn't used in the following cases Number one, the is omitted before certain places used for their routine purpose. For example, he is at work. He left college two years ago, so we would not say the work or the college. The is not used with personal names. जैसे मैंने भी वर्ड्स वर्थ की एग्जांपल दी थी इसी तरह से the आमिर the नान ये सब गलत हैं the नहीं लगेगा. the is omitted before means of transport for example come or go by bus not by the bus come by car or go by car not by the car come by train or go by plane not the train or the plane note a particular train flight or uh, plane is used with the so for example the flight is late on which i was supposed to travel to karachi the is not used before the names of meals unless a particular meal is referred to so in general we have breakfast we meet for example at tea we um finish work before lunch or we stay for dinner in each of these cases breakfast tea lunch or dinner the is not used but the dinner i was invited to so when a specific dinner or a lunch or any other meal is referred to the is used here are some more examples where the is not names of cities towns or states do not take the for example miami names of streets do not take um the for example main street or main st in the same way names of lakes and bays do not take the except with a group of lakes like the great lakes the rule ye hai ki jab aap ek lake ko refer kar rahe ho for example saiful maluk so you would not say the saiful maluk but when you are referring to a set of uh, a collection of a group of lakes then you would use the for example the great lakes the great lakes is a group of lakes in the same way names of mountains do not take the before them for example mount everest or mount fuji they would not take the before them so mount k2 for example in pakistan would not take the except with ranges of mountains jab kisi range of mountains ko refer karenge to phir kya hoga then you would have to have the before that so k2 jab aap kahenge to it would not be the k2 i saw k2 no i you cannot say i saw the k2 that would be incorrect i saw mount k2 or i saw k2 but i saw 
द हेमालाया यू आर रेफरिंग टू अ रेंज ऑफ माउंटेन्स हेमालाया इज अ रेंज ऑफ माउंटेन्स दैट इंक्लूड्स मोर देन वन माउंटेन्स इन दैट केस इट वुड बी इट वुड बी यूज विद अ द बिफोर इट सो के टू एंड द हेमालाया आर इजी एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर यू आई थिंक एज फार एज द नेम्स ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट्स आर कंसर्न दे ऑल्सो डू नॉट टेक द बिफोर दैम एशिया यूरोप वी कैन नॉट से द एशिया और द यूरोप द नेम्स ऑफ आईलैंड्स जब इंडिविजुअल इंडिपेंडेंट आईलैंड्स की बात होती है तो यू डू नॉट टेक द यू डू नॉट प्लेस द बिफोर द नेम्स ऑफ आईलैंड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ईस्टर आईलैंड moi or key west island all these are independent islands so you would not use the before them except with island chains for example canary islands are a chain of islands so it would be the canary islands so jab you refer to a chain of islands zyada islands so you take the with that well dear students this slide presents some uh, materials about which the top heading says do use the before these do use so there is a stress on you should necessarily use when it comes to the names of rivers oceans and seas we always use the before them so the chenab the nile the pacific the jhelum when it comes to rivers points on the globe jab aap globe pe kisi point ko refer karte hain to it takes the before it the equator the north pole for example in the same way when you refer to some geographical areas the is used before that uh, word or before that group of words the middle east the west the east for example deserts forests gulfs and peninsulas they all take the before their names the sahara the persian gulf the black forest the iberian peninsula so all these uh, names of deserts forests gulfs and peninsulas take the before their names well students these were the rules related to the use of article the with this i move on to the use of article a and an a and an signal that the noun modified is indefinite referring to any member of a group these indefinite articles are used with singular nouns when the noun is general the corresponding indefinite quantity word sum is used for plural general nouns the rule is a plus singular noun beginning with a consonant for example a boy second rule is an plus singular noun beginning with a ball an elephant rule 3 a plus singular noun beginning with a consonant sound a user ab you need to notice a user sound that is produced is u it sounds like user instead of user so it begins with a consonant uh, sound that, that can be indicated with y instead of a sound or u sound user or user <coughs> the next rule is some plus plural noun is equal to for example some girls when it comes to a plural then you use some for that or many for that here is an example that i would like to share with you with reference to the use of uh, articles um, my daughter really wants a dog for christmas this refers to any dog we don't know which dog because we haven't found the dog yet so a dog is any dog so the girl wants a dog not the dog the dog would be a specific dog somebody call a policeman so when somebody uh, says 
please call a policeman it means call any policeman we do not need a specific policeman we need any policeman who is available look at the third example when I was at the zoo I saw an elephant I saw an elephant here we are talking about a single specific thing in this case an elephant there are probably several elephants at the zoo but there is only one we are talking about here and it refers to any or a general elephant continuing on the rules of the use of article a uh, and an I would share a bit more of information use a uh, or an with singular non countable nouns something called non count nouns as well use a uh, if the noun that follows begins with a consonant sound use an if the noun that follows begins with a vowel sound well here what is important for you is to understand that uh, what I am talking about uh, are consonant sounds and vowel sounds I'm talking about sounds I'm not talking about words starting with consonant letters or con vowel letters there's a difference in sounds so for example let us take um, let us take the example of the word hour an hour Ab hour starts with H H O U R hour an hour you are left with an hour to complete the assignment an hour ab an is ki laga hai ki the sound is wall sound halanke letter jo hai wo h hai consonant ho ke liye jaise for example horse so a horse ab dono h se shuru ho rahe hain but for horse because the sound that is produced is consonant it is her sound so you would take it as a horse whereas in the case of hour because H is used as a letter but the sound that is produced is a vowel sound so it would be an hour there are some more examples here for you the student has a pencil the child has an ice cream the doctor will be finished in an hour Here I reiterate the point that remember using a or an depends on the sound that begins the next word, not the letter. So the rule is a plus singular noun beginning with a consonant. A boy, a car, a bike, a zoo, a dog. Rule number two is an plus singular noun beginning with a wall. For example, an elephant, an egg, an apple, an idiot, an orphan. So, a, e, o, u, ye sab jo consonant, uh, sorry, wall sounds hain, unse pehle an aayega. Rule number three is, a plus singular noun beginning with a consonant sound. A user. Ab u likha wa hai, jo, lekin yaha par chunke wo sound different produce kar raha hai, u ki kar raha hai, is liye it would not be considered as a wall. It produces a consonant sound, so it would take a instead of an. In the same way, the next rule is an plus noun starting with silent H. An hour, you have explained kar diya aapko. The next rule is a plus noun starting with a pronounced H. Horse, a horse, you have explained already. Kar In some cases where H is pronounced such as historical, you can use an an, this is an exception, however, a or a is more commonly used and preferred so an historical and a historical both are used uh, it depends upon how much stress is given on her sound um, in different regions of the world according to that um, the use of a or an is done but most of the times a is used and I would say the use of a in this case is safer a historical event is worth recording for example Okay, so on this slide I have some common errors that uh, generally the users of English uh, m make. Number one, general and particular. Articles are not normally used with uncountable or plural nouns if the meaning is general. For example, the life is sweet would be incorrect. Life is sweet is the right choice. 
in the second example C my brother loves the animals this is incorrect my brother loves animals why because the rule is articles are not normally used with uncountable or plural nouns if the meaning is general so life is sweet you are generally talking about life and you are generally talking about animals in the second example so none of these would take the Now see the next example. We expect this program to educate children. That is children in general. Her husband used to be an authority figure to the children. In the first example, we expect this program to educate children. Since we are talking about um, children uh, as a plural and we are talking about them in general, so children would not take the. But in the second example, we are referring to particular children. Her husband used to be an authority figure to the children. So we are referring to specific children, the group of children. That is why it would take the. Another common error with reference to the use of articles is when it comes to classifying nouns. A and N is usually used with nouns indicating the group or type someone or something belongs to. Look at these two options. She is administrator. This would be wrong. She is an administrator. This would be correct. Uncountable nouns. When we use karte hai, again we have some problems sometimes and we make errors. Some uncountable nouns are used with a or an to express number one a type of or a portion of. For example. A fluid for cleaning photocopiers. I bought a fluid for cleaning photocopiers. Give me a coffee, please. So it is for uh, mm, you see uncountable nouns, but when they refer to a type or a portion of that. In the first example, a fluid refers to a type, and in the second example, a coffee refers to a portion of that, which might mean a cup of coffee. Secondly, some uncountable nouns are used uh, with a or an to express a particular or specified meaning. For example, a knowledge of English or a good sleep. You need a good sleep before you start working on this project, for example. Another um, area of common errors with reference to the use of articles is when it comes to the use of proper nouns. Articles are not usually used with proper nouns, that is with names. For example, V man is from the Shenzhen. This is incorrect. V man is from Shenzhen. So proper nouns, be it the name of a tribe, be it the name of a group, be it the name of a person, they would not take any article before them. They would not take the before them especially. My dear students, with this we move on to the tips for using articles. You can determine which article to place in front of almost any noun by answering the following three questions. Number one, is the noun countable or uncountable? Number two, is it singular or plural? And number three, is it definite or indefinite? And the rules are, a noun is countable if you can have more than one instance of it. The word exam is countable because you can have, say, four exams scheduled at the end of the year. The word concentration, however, is uncountable, for example, because it will not be making any sense to the speaker of having four concentrations, even though you will need a lot of concentration to study for all the four exams. Many words have both countable and uncountable meanings depending upon the sentence. So the use of article would depend upon the sentence and the sense in which that noun is used as countable or uncountable. Well, knowing whether the particular use of a noun is singular or plural is quite straightforward. Just ask the question, am I referring to more than one instance of something? A noun, in fact, is definite when it is clear to your reader which specific instance or instances of an entity you are referring to. Otherwise, it is indefinite. Often, the first use of a noun is indefinite and subsequent uses are definite. 
However, as I've said, often it is so, sometimes it is not. My dear students, with this we come to some activities and exercises where we would learn how to use different uh, articles uh, in different contexts. Um, here I have activity one that you are supposed to do very quickly. Use the, a uh, or an or no article. Agar koi article nahi lagna hai, to zero article before these nouns. Agar nahi lagna hai, to aap us pe zero lik dein ya dash laga dein. Number one, dash vegetables are good for the health. Number two, the world is getting smaller because of dash airplane. Number three, the dash, sorry, number three, dash wheel was an important invention. Number four, dash athlete has to practice very hard to win. And instance number five here is Dash supermarket sells not only Dash groceries but also Dash liquor, Dash plants and Dash magazines. Number six. Dash newspaper is one of the most widespread media of communication. Number seven instance here states Dash computer is doing much of the work that humans used to do. The next one is dash computers are useful. And finally, the last uh, instance here is dash good engineer must have a good knowledge of mathematics and physics. So quickly solve it before you move on to the next slide. Well, if you have done it, check your answers um, against the answers that I have provided here. Look at the answers. Dash vegetables are good for the health. Zero. Zero means no article is to be used. So simply you need to do, what you need to do is you would remove the blank and you would capitalize V for vegetables. Number two, the world is getting smaller because of the airplane. Number three, the wheel was an important invention. Number four, an athlete has to practice very hard to win. Because athlete here refers to any athlete who wants to win. Koi bhi jo jeetna chata hai athlete, any of uh, them. That is why we would take an. And because it starts with a sound, athlete, uh, which is a wall sound, so it will take an instead of a. Look at number five. Our supermarket sells not only groceries but also liquor, plants and magazines. So pehli blank mein you would have a and the rest of the blanks would take no article so you can remove them. Look at example 6. The newspaper is one of the most widespread media of communication. Number 7, dash computer is doing much of the work that humans used to do. The computer is doing much of the work that humans used to do. Dash computers are useful. Here the would not be used. I would like you to compare example 7 and 8. When you are referring to computer as a device, as a particular device that does most of the human work, it would take the. But when you are generally referring to computers, you would say computers are useful. The final um, instance here was dash good designer must have a good knowledge of mathematics and physics. A good engineer. So any good engineer. It means that is why it would take a. And because the next word that follows a is good, which starts with G, that is a consonant sound. Here in this case, G sound, that is why it would be a good engineer. But if we remove good, remove kar dein se, to what would be uh, it? It would be an engineer. Well, my dear students, continuing on the same activity, here we have uh, a few more um, um, uh, instances here in the activity that you are supposed to fill in. So fill in a, an, or the, uh, the as you find it appropriate. Number 10 states, Dash University is a place where both the Dash, I'm sorry, I myself uttered the, both student and Dash teacher learn. Number 11, it has been proven that Dash cigarettes are bad for the health. 
Number 12, Daesh Americans are proud of their diverse ethnic heritage. Number 13, Daesh American should try to learn more than just his own language. Number 14, Daesh American male has had a 50 year long love affair with the car. Number 15, Daesh politician must put in hours of campaigning in order to win a race. And look at the correct options. A university is a place where both the student and the teacher learn. So you see it's a matter of practice. Then you automatically do it. You would have noticed that in the last slide I was sharing the activity with you. So automatically I said the student told me. Once you learn the rules and you have enough practice of them, then automatically you start using them and you do not have to be very much conscious of their use. But of course, at the initial stage, you need to learn them so that you could practice them. Anyhow, number 11 states, it has been proven that dash cigarettes, so it would not take any article, cigarettes um, in general are bad for the health. Number 12, dash Americans are proud of their diverse ethnic heritage. Americans would not take any article here. Number 13, an American should try to learn more than just his own language. Again, because it starts with a sound American, so it would take an. Number 14, the American male has had a 50 year long affair with the car. You are referring to a specific American male, that is why the. And finally, number 15, a politician, referring to any politician, politician in general. So I hope the activity would have helped you um, insert a uh, and, and the in different contexts and you would have learned through looking at the correct answers provided by me that um, um, how in different contexts the use varies. We continue with some more practice. I have five more sentences here on this slide. Number 16 states, Dash politician who spent the most in the last race won by a landslide. Number 17, Dash politicians spent far too much on their campaigns. Number 18, Dash politicians who voted for spending restrictions lost their races. And number 19, Dash shopping mall is rapidly taking the place of Main Street USA. The final um, here uh, statement for you to fill in is Dash shopping mall can offer everything from exercise to entertainment. Fill these up before you move on to the next slide to see the correct answers. And here are the correct answers for you. The politician who spent, you are referring to a specific politician. Number 17 just refer to, refers to politicians and uh, you are not referring to them as any one or as, uh, as singular or as somebody specific. So politicians without any article. Number 18, the politicians who voted for spending restrictions. Specific politicians who voted in this case. Number 19 example says dash shopping mall, the shopping mall, you are referring to a particular shopping mall that is speedily taking place of Main Street USA. And finally a shopping mall can offer everything from exercise to entertainment. A shopping mall here means any shopping mall. My dear students with this we move on to activity 2 for the use of articles. You have articles a, uh, an or the, so pick and choose, choose them and use them where article is necessary to be used. You can use X mark where no article is to be used for practice purposes. I like dash blue t-shirt over, over there better than dash red one. Number two, their car does 150 miles dash hour. Number three, we are dash USB drive. Where's that dash USB drive I lent you last week? Number four states, do you still live in dash Bristol? Number five, is your mother working in dash old office building? And number six says, Carol's father works as dash electrician. Number seven, the tomatoes are 99 pence dash kilo. 
number 8 states what do you usually use uh, what do you usually have for dash breakfast number 9 example says ben has dash terrible headache and finally number 10 states after this tour you have dash whole afternoon free to explore the city I would like you to spend a few minutes on this, look at the blanks, look at the context that is provided and then make options of a, an or the. You can also make an option of not using any article in any particular situation. Once you are done this, then move on to the next slide to have a look at the correct answers. And for your convenience, I would share the, the correct answers with you. The first correct answer is, I like the blue t-shirt over there better than the red one because in each case you are referring to a specific one. Number two, their car does 150 miles an hour. Remember the rule with reference to this, the wall sounds? Yes, this is how it is, an hour. Number three, Where's the USB drive I lent you last week? The USB, a particular USB. And number four states, do you still live in Bristol? So X mark here shows that no um, article is to be used because you are referring to a place. And the rule was generally the names of countries and places and cities, they would not take X. Uh, they would not take any article. Is your mother working in an old office building old o sound o sound is produced wall sound that is why an is used carol's father works as an electrician when you are referring to somebody's uh, profession the tomatoes are 99 pence a kilo per kilo it refers to number eight what do you usually have for breakfast remember for meals generally we do not use any article but you are referring to a specific meal only then you would use article the Ben has a terrible headache Ben has terrible headache would be wrong Ben has a terrible headache this is a common uh, error that we all make and finally number 10 states after this tour you have the whole afternoon free to explore the city by the way the city also because a specific city well uh, dear students this is a very very simplistic kind of activity that is just for uh, a basic practice of the use of a uh, and an um, those who still find it difficult how to differentiate in the use of a uh, or an with reference to the consonant and vowel sounds I would like them to do the activity very quickly uh, as I go through it I would do it for you by the way dash bingo game a uh, bingo game an idiot number three a good job number four a rotten plum number five a used frog now u sound is produced not a e o u sounds none of these rather u sound is produced that is why a used frog an uncle ab dono words ka difference dekhen please used ka or uncle ka dono they start with the letter u but in the first case that is in the case of used since the sound that is produced is U, that is why you take a. Uh. Whereas in the second case, uncle, a uh sound, consonant ki bijai yaha par, ek wall sound produce ho a uh sound. So you would take an uncle here. A historian. An apple. A uh here. Her sound produce ho rie. By the way, in um, some contexts, people use an here as well. But the, the general correct way is a uh here. An artichoke, number 11, a horrible movie. Again, her horse ki tara, her sound produce hui hai. That is a consonant sound. That is why you would take a. An opera, a fine opera. Now look at the, look at the difference. An opera, a sound se shuru hai. Isliye, fine opera, the first se shuru ho raha hai. immediately the word that follows the article. That is why what you would have is a fine opera. A television an earthquake an icicle a plant an eggplant an honorable teacher instead of like horrible movie 
ho sound was produced again here h is used but the sound that is produced is o honorable that is why it, because it is a vowel sound beginning that is why you would take an an or an honorable teacher an intelligent man for the the last one an intelligent man here the answers are provided but i have already shared those with you while we were doing the activity here uh, again a very small activity is given where again you have to use a uh, or an this time you are supposed to use it in a context we saw dash clown at the circus of course a clown she ate an ice cream cone wisconsin is dash state in the midwest is a state in the midwest number 4 our dog walked across the street number 5 states she used dash umbrella to stay dry she used an umbrella again sound a uh, is produced which is a vowel sound so it takes an i have an aunt an animal walked in front of us at the farm she made a pan of cookies pan per sound produced that is consonant so she made a pan of cookies here is the list of these answers but i have already shared it with you as we were going through the activity well um, since articles and the use of articles is a matter of learning rules and it is a matter of practicing those rules as well so here again i have a set of um, Um, sentences where you are supposed to use articles a uh, and or the you can even leave the space blank if you think no article is needed i want dash apple from the ma basket number 2 dash church on the corner is progressive well this time while doing the activity i am not filling it up because i want you to try it yourselves number 3 miss lin speaks dash chinese Number 4 I borrowed dash pencil from your pile of pencils and pens. Number 5 one of the students said dash professor is late today. Number 6 Ellie likes to play dash volleyball. And finally the last sentence here is I bought dash umbrella to go out in the rain. please take your time stop here for a while complete this and then move on to the next page when you go to the next page um, you would find a few more that you are supposed to fill number 8 here states my daughter is learning to play dash violin at her school number 9 please give me dash cake that is on the counter number 10 i lived on dash main street when i first came to town Number eleven states, Albany is the capital of Dash, New York State. Number twelve, my husband's family speaks Dash Polish. Number thirteen, Dash apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's a proverbial saying, by the way. Number fourteen, Dash ink in my pen is red. And the last one on this slide is, our neighbors have Dash cat and Dash dog. so fill in all these with the options of a uh, and the or if you think no um, uh, article is to be used you can leave it blank here we go with all the answers that i have provided and you can check your answers i want an apple from that basket the church on the corner a big specific church hai na that is why the church miss lin speaks chinese so jo aap kisi language ko refer karte hain so i speak urdu so you do not use an article a uh, or the kuch bhi nahi lagta before the name of a language i borrowed a pencil from your pile of pencils and pens any pencil is li a pencil one of the students said the professor is late today a specific professor is referred to that is why the professor and he likes to play volleyball no article is needed you are referring to a game in general I bought an umbrella to go out in the rain. My daughter is learning to play the violin, a specific um, music instrument. That is why the would be used with it. 
प्लीज गिव मी द केक दैट इज ऑन द काउंटर अ स्पेसिफिक केक दैट इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द काउंटर दैट इज रिफर्ड टू दैट इज वाई द I lived on Main Street when I first came to the town. No article is required. The name of the street does not need that. In the same way, in the next example, no article is required, and in number twelve also no article is required. As far as thirteenth number is concerned, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. An apple means one apple, any apple, not specific one. Number fourteen, the ink in my pen is red. The specific ink that right now is in my pen is red in color. And finally, our neighbors have a cat and a dog. You are referring to a cat and a dog. Generally, a cat and a dog in general, any dog, any cat. That is why you are not specifying by using the. But in a different context, for example, um, when you are referring to a specific cat and a specific dog, and you tell that um, nowadays that particular cat and that particular dog is with your neighbors, you can say our dog, our neighbors have. the cat and the dog but in that case it would mean specific cat and specific dog with this i move towards the closing of today's session and my dear students here are the lists of those references on these two slides from where i have taken materials for um, this session and uh, where i think uh, in these books and these articles and uh, on these websites you would find good material that you can use for more practice and for learning the rules of the use of articles mm, in more detail before i close today's session i would like to share the review of today's session today's session was mainly on the use of articles i started with what are articles and then i moved onwards to why articles why to use articles types of articles that are used in english were shared they were defined and their rules of use were also discussed i gave examples of um, the use of articles in different contexts and um i showed you the application of different rules in different contexts towards the end of the session we had some activities and exercises that gave you some practice in the use of these rules um, of how to apply articles in different contexts i hope this would have added to your clarity on the use of articles and with some more practice you can use them uh, more easily and more confidently in your writing with this we come to the end of today's session thank you very much